Hey girls, today I am going to step you through how to create an across the grid Instagram feed. So this is one that I have created recently and a few of you have asked me how to do it so ask and you shall receive. Um, now what I might point out first, we're just going to hop over to an Instagram feed here. So this is currently mine. One photo will be about 1080 by 1080 pixels. So we're going to create a canvas that allows us to create nine squares. So what we want to do is go file and new. And our dimensions will be 3240 by 3240 pixels. And we just go create. All right. So we've got a blank canvas. Now what we want to do is slice this up into nine squares. So we want to go view and just ensure you have your extras and your rules on as well. And then go new guide layouts. We've got three columns, we've got three rows, and just make sure that margin is not ticked. If you tick that, it will create a border and we do not want that. So leave that unticked and go okay. From here, go crazy. <laughs> um, let your creativity be your limitation. So you can see here, I've got so many layers. I've got so many elements um, on my feed. And yes, this takes me probably double the time it usually takes me, if not more, to create my Instagram feed. But I love it and I actually enjoy the process now. Um, so what we want to do is export these images as individual squares. So we want nine images out of this canvas. So what we want to do, you want to go to your slicing tool over here, click that, and that will slice up your grid into nine different squares. And just make sure you've got slices from guides up here. Now, to export, go File, Export, Save for Web, and our preset will be PNG24, that's fine to export. Go Save, call it whatever you want. Um, I'm just going to save this to my desktop. Now this will create a brand new folder where your images will be stored. So I'll just show you what it looks like. So I'm just going to go save. Okay. Now I'm just going to close this down for a second. So this is where my images are saved. And you can see that I have individual elements as, um, as different images here. But... I take the ones that I want to upload to my Instagram, I email them to myself and put them in my feed planner. But everything is right there for you. <laughs> All right, so there's one more thing that we need to do with our feed. Now you probably want to keep this going once you start. And there is a way to do it, you know, use the same file so you don't have to create a new one every single time and have things look a little bit disjointed. So what we want to do is firstly group all of these layers together. So select the very top layer, scroll all the way down, hold shift, that highlights all of them, right click, go group from layers. This is group three for me, go OK. Now a little trick. I'm just going to create a new layer on top of this one. I'm just going to select my select tool. Select the entire canvas. Right click. Go stroke. We're going to do 10 pixels. I'm just going to use a color white. You'll see what I'm doing in a second. Go OK. All right. Now. What we want to do, I'm just going to collapse that. Command T, and that selects everything for you. And I'm going to pull this down. To make room for a new grid. Now, I'm just going to zoom in here so that you can see why I did that stroke thing. Oh, here we go. <laughs> so you can see this line here. This is what I just did. 
And this is the top of my, cam my, my previous canvas because you can see here, these images are actually overlapping onto the next nine squares. So this gives you a little guide so that you can see how far you need to take it down. I don't know why it's doing that. I'm just going to take it down a little bit more. Nearly there. And there we go. I'm just going to zoom back out. Okay. So this is where I'm going to start from for my next nine squares. And this way I won't have any like cut off pictures or anything like that. It's still going to keep flowing on into the next nine squares. And you know, it depends how you want to do things as well. I kind of like to keep my transitions fairly clean and blank, um, just so that everything does, you know, line up perfectly and I don't have any issues. But that's a little trick you can do. Other than that, that is it. So I cannot wait to see what you girls come up with. Um, make sure to tag me uh, if you do try this style of feed and you've used this video tutorial. I would love, love to see it. Um, but I will see you girls in the next tutorial and I can't wait to see everything.